Hello Sheilas and welcome to PPM6 TV and today what it is is an homage to the great Crocodile Dundee. We all know the scene. Um, uh, Paul Hogan and his girlfriend are being mugged in New York and the mugger pulls a knife and his girl says give him the money he's got a gun mic. Ha ha Hogan laughs dismissively that's not a gun mic that is a gun mic. <laughs> now you're probably thinking ah Alistair, what have you got there? Some sort of massive Sennheiser thing? Well, it's not. It's very rare and um, I haven't seen one before. It is a, a standard AKG uh, C480B body with the mighty CK69 uh, capsule on it. The capsule actually is in two parts. So you can have a shorter gun mic and this is about the same size as the 416 we're recording on. That's an Audio-Technica. Um, and you can see there's a, there's a bit of a difference here. But let's have a closer look. This is an AKG CK69 capsule attached to a C480B preamp. If I just um, unscrew the preamp there, you can see that uh, the thread system. And uh, also you'll notice the preamp comes with uh, uh, low uh, cut filters at 70 and 150. And also a uh, minus 10 pad and a plus 6, which you don't see very often, I think, for driving um, long lines or something like that. Now, the capsule itself is interesting. As I've said, it mounts with a thread, and the previous generation, the 451 series, uh, they had a very fine thread, which was a which was a real bummer. And the right answer AKG came up with in their Blue Line series, which, of course, is a bayonet. Much, much more secure and um, less likely to be cross-threaded. However... They didn't go with a bayonet for the uh, 460 series and these capsules are all part of that uh, 60 series capsule nomenclature. So the interesting thing about this is it is it's in itself um, uh, splittable and um, you get uh, this element which has got the uh, electronics of the capsule in it and this is just purely mechanical uh, there's nothing in there at all uh, but it adds to the suck of the microphone. Now interestingly if you look at the, um, the AKG design the interference tubes uh, interference slots are all down one side and not the other. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but um, we'll, we'll maybe hear that when we have a listen. So if I um, uh, mount this back on, which is how this is about, uh, I think, six and a half inches, this tube, uh, when mounted on there and you get an extra, I don't know, five and a half or something, you get up to about uh, a foot long with the two on there. And if you look at the um, uh, classic Sennheiser, uh, 416 you can see that actually in terms of the tube you're getting um, you're getting pretty much the same length it's interesting the Sennheiser's got much finer slots and of course the Sennheiser has them on both sides but uh, the big difference um, just out the bat is the extra length of the 480B now that's not going to be a problem if you're in um, studio with a you know CK61 mounted in a cardioid or whatever but on location, in a boom, on a pole, that may well be enough to um, uh, swing the balance. And I, I don't know, it may be slightly heavy at all. That's quite a dense microphone compared to um, uh, modern day, um, you know, aluminium based stuff. Anyway, uh, the 416 probably more the choice of the location recordist, but the 480B, full of flexibility. You can put an Omni on there, you can put a Hypercardio on there, you can put all sorts on there, and the body has a very, very good reputation, as do the capsules. So the only question left is, what does it sound like? Well, we'll check that out in the next video. Thanks for dropping by. Do subscribe, it does help. Bye for now.